he, he's really good. That's one of the guys that stand out. Um, me being a slot receiver, you got to be, you know, aware of where he's at at all times. He can cover a little bit. He can, he's a really good tackler. He fills the gap well. Yeah, he's a really good physical player. When you can't get up to the second level to block those guys, he's really hard to block. He was definitely a player that would come downhill and plays a little bit bigger than his size, and that's something that would compliment him. But he's definitely one of those guys where you got to scheme up and make sure you know where he is on the field. He's always in the right spot and seems to be where the ball is and making a lot of tackles and a lot of pass breakups. And glad he finally got you know his chance to go do his thing and the way he tackles and. You know, brings his pads is definitely one thing that's definitely impressive. We know that he's a physical guy. Arguably going to be the best uh, defensive player in the conference. Uh, you could tell he has his leadership. Um, he's big. I actually, you know, I, he's actually bigger than what I expected in person. He can get sideline to sideline, and we know that he's a run stopper, and he's going to be that leader on that defense. So he's always a tough challenge, but that defense as a whole, um, you know, they're well coached, uh, well rounded. Not a lot of weaknesses in, in, in their game, in his game. Going against him again this year would be fun. In the era of college football where players have the freedom to transfer schools as they please, there's something special about a guy like DJ Schramm, who had to wait his turn and grind for his opportunities, but has now earned a chance to finish his career as a leader on the team and one of the highest touted defensive players in the Mountain West. DJ told me that he's not as big or as fast as other linebackers, so he's been focused his entire career on dominating the technique. He also takes his leadership role very seriously, honored to be voted captain by his teammates. As he enters his final year of NCAA eligibility, he tells me he want, what he wants to accomplish as he wraps up his career wearing the blue and orange. Enjoy it. Don't let the, any moment be too big. Uh, go have fun, you know. Uh, at the end of the day, it is a game, but it's a game where we want to go win and we are going to go win. It's been awesome. I mean, it's given me the opportunity to come back and be a leader of this uh, team, to uh, leave an impact on this program and uh, obviously play another year of football and hopefully go out there and win a Mountain West championship.